Hi, my name is Johan van Skalkwijk and I'm from Professional CPD. One of the questions that I get quite often is, um, please explain the degree of responsibility to me. Now, the degree of responsibility works like this, and I'm using a practical example to help you understand how the degree of responsibility works. Now, there are five indicators of the degree of, 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 of responsibility. It's from level A to level E. So, these, these levels, A to E, needs to be illustrated um, during your engineering report and your training and experience reports, which basically means that you need to illustrate how you move from level A to right through to level E, because the um, interviewers and reviewers would like to see that natural progression from level A to level E. So that is, that's a major, major thing. And if you're not operating at level E for at least, at least a minimum of one year, you will find it extremely difficult to register as a professional. So you need to make sure that you actually operate on that level for at least a year. I recommend more than a year. It will make your life a little bit more easier. But let's look at the degrees of responsibility and let's start with an example like building a new highway that will help you a little bit understanding it better. So on level A, which is your entry level, and that will also be your entry level engineer. So you get exposed to the environment and your degree of responsibility is minimum. You must probably will go through an induction, introduction to the company. Um, but if, you, if we're talking about building a highway, your degree of responsibility will be minimal. You will primarily assist in the various tasks. The nature of your work, that will be to perform routine calculations, data entry, and assist the senior engineer. Your responsibility and support on this level A works under close supervision, receives direct guidance and support from the more experienced engineers. The example of this task would be preparing reports based on collected data and assisting with drafting the plans and then obviously conducting basic surveys. Level B, if you now move along from level A to level, level B, um, then you will most probably find yourself in a junior engineer position. Your degree of responsibility here would be low to moderate, um, handle specific parts of the project. Your nature of work will consist of conducting field work and apply standard engineering principles. May start to manage small components of the larger project. Your responsibility and your support on level B works under moderate supervision with guidance available for more complex tasks and what you expected to see assistance when needed. Your example of tasks would be developing design draftings, performing calculations for drainage systems, manage minor project aspects like materials and then obviously um, procurement as well that goes with it. That will be on your level B. Now if we move along to level C, your level will be engineer, degree of responsibility moderate, so you'll oversee parts of the project and coordinate tasks as well. The nature of work, you independently manage significant projects, components, collaborate with other teams and you begin making your decisions yourself and that includes design decisions. So this is where you work independently but has access to a mentor and a supervisor for consultation. Responsible for ensuring that the work meets the project standards. Example of tasks leading a specific section of the project such as road Grading, coordinating with contractors, ensuring compliance with the local regulations and communicating effectively to the team members. Now, if we move to level D, you will most probably be titled as a senior engineer. Your degree of responsibility will be high. Um, you will be managing entire projects and major sections within significant 
um, projects that also have a significant impact on the project. You can see how the responsibility now gets heavier. The nature of the work will be you will be leading multidisciplinary teams. You will be making critical decisions. Um, you will be making um, critical design decisions and you will be representing the engineering team at these stakeholder meetings. Responsibility and support basically means here you will be working with minimum support. You are expected to make independent decisions. You will be able to manage risk and you will also be in a position to start managing and mentoring junior engineers. Remember in your training and experience support, you need to show two levels above and two levels below on your organogram. This is where it starts playing a massive role. So the example of some of the tasks that you will be exposed to is designing the overall highway layout, coordinating public consultation and managing the budget and schedule of the project. Level E, that's your engineering manager as a designation or a title. Your degree of responsibility, very high. You're responsible for strategic decision making and overall project success. The nature of your work will be overseeing multiple projects, um, set engineering standards and contribute to organizational strategy. You may also start engaging in business development for your company. So this is where you operate independently and has full accountability for the projects that, that you're busy on, the outcomes thereof, the quality of there, and then also the deadlines that goes with it. You will um, provide direction and support to the ent entire engineering team. Example of the tasks that you'll be involved in, establishing project priorities, negotiating contracts um, with the client and stakeholders, and leading the organization's engineering practices. So that is basically the stage where you should seriously consider doing application for professional registration, um, provided you have captured all of the information during your candidate phase. So in this example, I've just used um, the example of a um, building a new highway. You can extrapolate this to any of the other disciplines within engineering, and you'll find the same um, type of natural flow. Yes, some of you are being exposed to level B and C already when you start working. Those are exceptions to the rule, especially if you're talking about smaller um, SMME companies. Um, you are more than welcome to explain to in your training and experience report to the reviewers that you've been thrown into the deep end, and that is why you're operating on that level from the beginning, provided that you have got a support strong support around you so that that also happens so bear that in mind you are allowed to to stipulate it and um, just make sure that you contextualize it and remember your training and experience reports um, have got different different um, start and end dates it's basically when you change job when you change your level of exposure or degree of responsibility when you um, get a new position when you change jobs when you take some time off all of those kind of things contribute to the start and end of a training and experience report. So there you have it. I hope it, it helps. Um, it's important for you to understand this. And it's important for you to illustrate that when you do your training and experience report and your engineering report. If you battle with any of this, um, please feel free to contact me. My contact details are below. Uh, my cell phone and email number. And then also um, the website where you can get more information. We also assist in um, reviewing applications, or rather we'll scrutinize the applications and give you constructive advice back. Our track record is quite good. Um, I think we're operating at at least 95 plus percent, if not more, um, on our success ratio. We are see um, EXOS battling to get beyond 55 percent success ratio. So um, you will be in good hands. Um, so feel free to contact me. Um, I will start creating, generating more videos like this with more detail to help you to be successful in your application for professional registration. So good luck and shout if you need any help. Thank you.